Hello guys, how are you doing? Crypto Marker here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the sudden rise of Bitcoin. Why did this happen? So we're in Live Coin Watch, a nice alternative to Coin Market Cap, and as you can see, Bitcoin went from six thousand eight hundred up to six thousand five hundred, and that's when the rally rally pretty much ran out of steam. And as you can see, after such a huge increase in volume, we're seeing a correction and um, what are the reasons for that increase so we're going to talk about that and if you enjoy the content make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below because among everybody who's commenting i am giving away a small amount of litecoin now as you can see Toshi times writes about an avalanche of good news causing the whole move so what has happened is that um um the behemoth of blackrock is exploring blockchain so there has been a lot of news talking about six trillion getting into into crypto which is in my opinion a little bit um too early to talk about that further on positive news from japan mastercard applying a patent um then coinbase adding other currencies uh cboe and the sec talking about a bitcoin etf and all that and that's of course all good news but um, in my opinion, <laughs> this is in, 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 in no way an explanation for this sudden increase in value in cryptocurrencies. Now, do you see this sometimes with uh, stocks? Yes, you do. But when you do that, you can pretty much tell why an asset has increased like that. So at the end of the day, cryptocurrencies are super speculative. And if I have mentioned it until now, all of this in this video is my personal opinion and not financial advice so guys <laughs> the crypto market is in my opinion um very manipulated and um you're always thinking that you're doing the right thing when you're trading but stuff like that it's something that's very hard to predict almost impossible so if you invest into bitcoin invest when it's cheap in my opinion so the last few weeks have been great opportunities for investments um furthermore also think about exploring something else than cryptocurrencies i mean than bitcoin maybe some other altcoins are also really interesting um what's going on uh, on the rest so coinbase is, is exploring adding cardano bat stellar zcash and ox and what's weird about that in my opinion is that coinbase knows exactly that if there's even the smallest rumor that they are going to list one more cryptocurrency on their websites website people are going ham and of course this led to a spike in all of these five tokens um and they are well aware of their power so they have not implemented these tokens um they're i mean these tokens and these coins they are talking in their blog post about their coins like what they do what they are what their upsides are what their downsides are but at the end of the day i am it's curious it's just weird to see that coinbase is not actively adding these five coins but releasing this statement which clearly pumps up the price and that's something that the crypto world is kind of amazed by um as is kraken and they responded in a very um funny way so they said exciting and important revelation for the community today kraken has been contemplating the exploration of maybe adding over 1600 new coins pending the outcome of our highly sophisticated review process for a glimpse of the possibilities check out coin market cap so they're pretty much saying uh, we're gonna add everything and uh, it's pl pretty clear that th this is a joke so usually i'm not a fan of jokes when it comes to cryptocurrencies because people are investing serious money but in this case it's very 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 obvious that it's a joke and um well played kraken well played tether the token that is packed to dollar that has some serious transparency issues um has appointed somebody for aml sort of quality aml quality control manager at bank of montreal as cco at tether and basically what can we expect from this in my opinion nothing um tether claims that they are fully transparent that they have all the dollars uh, backed 
on their bank accounts. However, still to this day, this hasn't been confirmed. So people all over the world are basically shitstorming Tether, claiming them of fraud, claiming them, claiming that they are scammers. And um, I don't know if we will ever get a written confirmation of Tether that they are legit. Um, they have issues issued a few audits um, earlier, but uh, nothing that was really that has really proven 100% uh, the um, you know 100% waterproof way that Tether is backed one to one by the dollar amount out there. So what do you think about Tether, guys? I'm really curious on that. Let me know in the comments down below. Furthermore, Trump has done something really bad. He has established a task force on market integrity and consumer fraud. And um, I've seen this news all over the place um, that it's regarding cryptocurrencies. But when I check the text, so as you can see, this is the whitehouse.gov website. It's a government website. It's by signed by Donald Trump. It has been issued from the White House on the July 11th. And as you can see, there's only uh, digital currency fraud is only being mentioned once. So maybe this is disproportionate to the amount of, um, you know, just because it was mentioned in one word, uh, maybe it will be a bigger task force. Maybe um, they have established task force or all of the rest, but the digital currency fraud task force will be a big a big one just because it's one word in this article doesn't have to mean that it's going to be a small one. However, um, it's important that cryptocurrencies get the regulatory approval that they are regulated in a good way that are not completely um, suffocating them. But at the same time, that blue eyed consumers who believe everything um, are protected. So in a sense, I can understand that many cryptocurrency enthusiasts out there are against these kind of regulation are against watchdogs but at the end of the day it's very important that um, blue-eyed consumers who don't know a lot about cryptocurrencies don't fall for fraud don't fall for scammers so if it's a balanced approach then i highly encourage this what else three russian universities add crypto courses and diplomas why am i talking about this i assume that not everyone who's watching my channel is full has been uh, has a full apprenticeship or degree or or whatever however i'm certain that the blockchain industry is one of the um industries that will have a great demand in the future so if you are looking for something to study if your university offers anything that is back that is you know related to cryptocurrencies and blockchain i would suggest that you take a look at it even if it's not the best course that you could get um then just having this written on your cv will increase your chance to find a job in a company like this and even if you are unemployed don't have a job don't have any form of degree that i'm sure that we, we are living in the world where there's so much abundance in information and i'm sure that you can just learn solidity by yourself learn programming and apply for a job at a cryptocurrency company because right now there's such a high demand and it can change your life so it's good to see in my opinion just that um courses are have been added to a russian university furthermore good news from ccn so as you remember maybe in the last video somebody got a donation somebody from venezuela got a donation and bought 100 kilograms of food for that donation then he went on and buy, bought 400 grams with everything that he got if you're not aware of the fact um venezuela is currently going through a big 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 crisis so hyperinflation people don't earn a lot of money their money is worthless they don't count the money they actually weigh the money and that's how they pay it so very dire situation in venezuela and it's great to see that cryptocurrencies are a way of helping people in another country so if you want to check out more check out the thread on reddit and for the next uh, for the last news of the day bit entertainment but still kind of serious so there's an email going on um that somebody got your password somebody watched you masturbate and he wants a bit one thousand nine hundred dollars in bitcoin don't pay it don't negotiate with terrorists Here's a new form of crypto blackmail. A friend received this out of the blue. Presumably, it's getting sent to everyone to have I been pawned list. Be careful out there. Never pay, never negotiate. So I just want to make you guys aware of the fact. 
Um, and yeah, now it's time for the giveaway. So I had the liberty of already preparing uh, the giveaway off today and the winner is Dark Griffin one more time. So thank you very much for commenting. Dark Griffin, you are the winner of two and a half dollars for the last video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below. Um, if you have any questions, any feedback or whatever, in order to not miss a video, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell um, to get notified whenever I upload a video, like the video that really supports me a lot and it's really easy for you. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.